tools up for the day's night, off on the motorway, and happy days. Yeah. So we're here at Hughes Gray. Gwyn, the uh, digger man's come to the rescue. We needed some panels and fencing. So to keep the neighbors sweet, bit of privacy. This is what we're on with today. It's a bit of a muddy one, treacherous. I've got fence panels which are going up here, all along the side of here. Dave's on with digging out footings, uh, not footings, uh, post holes. So we're going to fence off that corner. And we're going to fence off this bit here, so we're going to move that wood. So yeah, it's an outside day. Hopefully get all this nice and clean. So I've been quite busy today, not a lot of filming unfortunately, uh, so we've got all that nicely fenced in. Alright, so today is another new day, it's actually Tuesday and depending on when I upload this um, you'll realise. So. Yesterday we had another hard day, it was basically stoning up, um, moving the caravans into the garden, uh, fencing everything off, so today we're on with uh, clearing out, we've got a skip coming, Dave's carrying on with the fences, um, I'll upload what clips I do have from yesterday, and uh, I just thought I'd take you through the day as, a, as another vlog and uh, caravan life so um, I think I might need a week off at some point because I am actually starting to fall to bits um, it's quite a lot really um, so yeah so like a, a, a busted lip uh, tired and um, yeah I thought I'd take you through the, the funny essential which I don't have today and that is Yeah, so <laughs> I only brought one pair of pants, unless I can find them in the friggin' car. <sighs> um, need some long johns because it's getting cold. Mug, don't have a mug, and I don't have any tea bags, so I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna have a, a cup of soup for breakfast out of a glass, which is quite fun. Um, got my hat warming up because it's a bit dampy rained yesterday quite a lot um, and yeah so today's a new day and uh, it should be uh, should be a, an easier one I should say quite frozen yet we laid a load of stone down yesterday uh, but because of the digger it's all been churned back up um, just mainly because it's it's new soil and it's not been compacted it just keeps raining so walkways for the time being when it dries out a little bit we'll get more stone down whackered um, Basically, this is it at the minute. So we've got two vans in. Not ideally the best scenario at the minute. Um, the fuel tank's still draining. And we'll go and see what Dave's up to. Bright and early. Let's get on it. So skip's coming today. All this is going to get cleared out. 
that boil is going to get moved before we go home. All this should be nice and clear today. Oh, feel the heat from that halogen. Bloody freezing today. Morning, Dave. Mm -hmm. Let's get the doors on, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> We've finished. Look at that for a view. This is from our village. Fantastic. So clear today. So back down at the builder's yard again today. This car's looking absolutely minging. So just been picking up some base plates. And yeah, just trying to find some contacts for uh, the self-leveling uh, bitumen, you know, the asphalt. So we'll see what we have to find. Let's see who can contact. Great, so we're on to our next job. Helping Dave out with the fencing. He's doing that side. I'm doing this side here. So by the end of the day, should have these done, but I'm gonna start loading skip when it comes. So we've got a six milli, SDS drill bit, filling the holes, concrete this, so it's about two, about three inch thick this concrete. And then we've got some concrete screws with uh, washers. So yeah, should be nice. Keep it nice and private for the neighbor. So there's nothing quite like getting a new tool. It's more of a, a man thing, um, as sexist as that might be, but yeah, I don't know. You let me know if you're, uh, what you think about getting a new tool. So it's actually the first proper spade I've ever owned. Being young, I've always been an apprentice. You always use other people's tools like, but yeah. That's my uh, first proper spade, so we've got all this to take out, which will be nice. Uh, so yeah, better get to it. So Dave's got the last panel in there. Tomorrow we'll cut the tops off. And we've got another section over here. Which just encloses this rear section, you've got like the, the outhouse here and where the wall used to be. So we'll open that up, little window. And uh, yeah, go from there. So it's day three of the week, it's Wednesday and um, I know I've not documented much and it's one of those things, there's not a lot I can do at the minute uh, we need a lot of materials ordered we've got a lot of clearing out to do and it's a lot of menial tasks and it's not entertaining to watch so i haven't recorded it for that aspect um, my stress levels have come down i'm feeling a lot better um, but I'm, I'm quite tired it was cold last night really cold and um, yeah i got woke up in the middle of the night actually there was <laughs> got like a radio in the uh, in the caravan and it just came on full blast uh, it was a bit half past two last night so a bit of disturbed sleep and yeah so we, we're making good progress it's just not entertaining for youtube so next week will be a good one we've got a lot we've got a big expensive order um basically dave's rhyming off every job that needs doing and then we're breaking it down into every material that needs to be ordered and then we're prioritizing each job so we know what to order next um so yeah it's uh, it's going well <laughs> um i'm looking forward to uh to having a nice hot shower actually um not the best of conditions in the 
caravan. Everything works except from the shower and it dribbles out and it's not fun. So yeah, um, it'll be, I'm not sure what this video will turn out to be like. I've got a couple of ideas of other things that I can uh, post, uh, how to things and uh, that type of thing. So yeah, um, it's not gonna be a fun day, but I'm glad to be going on. Dave's securing the side entrance because we had some visitors at some point. Foolish neighbours, I think they're stupid. Freaking dog footprints all throughout the garden. Oh, I've not been there. Yeah, all right. Anyway, so cleared out the skip. It's a greedy skip. Uh, hopefully they'll take that. But if they give us a fine, then so what? So be it. It's better than uh, ordering another skip. So yeah, the sun is setting. So picturesque this village, it's lovely. Right, so inside we've got nice and clean. The floors are pretty good and we've got some visqueen. So where we've got quarry tiles, we've got a damp wall and where we've got this concrete, there is a vapour barrier underneath. So it does slow. If you dropped a, a marble, it would definitely roll downwards. And you see here at some point they've, they've run out of stuff because the levels are, are a bit off. So I think we might screed it and then credit to my mate Paul. Uh, we're gonna bitch him in asphalt tar you know the the stuff that you pour on and it's self-leveling so that makes life a lot easier um yeah upstairs is nice and clear i'm not sure it works that's fine in here nice and clear got room to work with those i can take to the tip and uh, we've done really well actually filling that skip so yeah, it's a, it's a good size now. Lots to work with. Um, yeah, thinking with the chimney breast, um and ah whether to leave it in to take it out. I think it's a lot of work just to take out. And basically we've got a TV wall going on. So TV, open that up, log burner in there. In the back here, it's all tidied up. Looking good. This wall's gonna be coming out. We're gonna be extending on that corner plot. So yeah, there we have it. Um, quite a good week. I know it's a short one, Wednesday finishing. But got a lot done. And uh, I spoke to a couple of neighbors actually. Um, well, they, they approached me, they're quite nice really. Um, in regards to how we're getting on with uh, those on the other lane basically in a nutshell um, they haven't been really nice to any other neighbours so I'm not really much of an exception um, from what I've been told he doesn't really like the village and he wants to move so I don't know you, people have all sorts on um, people are bitter about that row because it overlooks the field. Well, I take you back actually, speaking with a, a, a lady on the street. She's lived here all her life and it's called Field Street for a reason because these houses here, they used to back onto just open field. And uh, now they was built on that lane. And she said, basically, we didn't complain about, you know, the noise, how long it took 
to build over there. And they've been in for 10 years. The wall's been in for like 20 years, just before then. Um, so yeah, it's like pop call in the kettle. It's like, well, we didn't complain when they were built. And then you're complaining with the wall. And then she, and she said, it's like, it's not even opposite. You know, you've just got meddling neighbors that are just nosy. Um, but <laughs> what I find funny is there's been a bit of a, a hate smear campaign from, uh, from the lady who lives across and she's rang and sent letters and contacted basically every neighbor in the vicinity. And just me being myself, uh, they've all opened up and said, look, you know, you didn't hear it from me. I think you're a sound lad. And I'm not, you know, getting involved. I don't think you're in the wrong. I just think people need to stay out of each other's business. And I think that's quite right, really. You know, and that's coming from um, elderly neighbours who are world of experience. So, yeah, I'm just not worrying about it. Um, pretty much, you've got... Um, Dave's doing some videoing. Dave will have a YouTube channel soon. So basically we've got, um, in a nutshell, the vibe from everyone in the neighbours. We've got Skid Row, which is the council houses, even though this one isn't the council house. It's 200 years old cottage built for the stone quarry. And you've got the big houses on the back lane. And it's like, oh God. Yeah, I find it, I find it, I can see the funny side now and I'm glad that I've documented it, but I'm just stressed and stressed over nothing and I don't know, you take a step back and when you got time, when there's time for things to blow over, um, you just have a different view on it. So yeah, this is where we're at. We're all finished now, so yeah. If you enjoy the chaos, I tell you what I would appreciate, um, some feedback, what videos you like, what you'd like to see, maybe you're interested in property investing and you'll, you would be interested in learning how I've done it or a backstory of how I've got here or just continuing with the vlogging. Um, so yeah, just what kind of content would you be interested in seeing? Uh, definitely just let me know in the comments because I'm scratching my head for ideas of what direction to go in. So this is the adventure. So I'm waffling on, I'm going and uh, yeah, there'll be a video next week. So cheers and good night.